today, and specifically the comments. We've gotten questions about what is the comments, how do I use it, what's it there for, that kind of stuff. And in short, the comments is a is a repository for content. So if you're looking for a lesson idea, this is a way you can find um, a, an example lesson, one you can modify, one you can pull into your course, and it's all set up for you. You don't have to do anything, really. It'll create the assignment, it'll create the quiz or the discussion, and you can use it right away with your students. So if you are in your Canvas account, if you look on the left-hand side, there's a button that says comments and it takes you to this page. You can search by tag, by topic, by a specific teacher or an instructor if you want to. So I'm gonna search for Elkhart um, just to see what comes up. It searches automatically for you and you can see there are some things in here already from Elkhart, like Erica Shannon. She's a biology teacher over at Memorial. Uh, if I click on this assignment, this is something she has done with her students and I can import it directly into one of my Canvas courses. I can also import it into all of them. So if you teach multiple sections of the same thing, you can click on all and it would drop it all in. Or I can come in and I will grab it just for my AP Biology. So you can leave a review, you can leave comments on it. Um, it's a great way to, to find materials and save yourself a little bit of effort. You don't have to create everything yourself, um, but it's a good way to, to put some variety into your lessons. So that's how to pull content in, and there are thousands and thousands and thousands of lessons here. The other cool thing about this is that I can see which, which lessons I've imported. So this is one I had done earlier. Uh, I grabbed it um, back this summer when I was working on some of the TCT materials. And so I can see things I've imported in the past, and it also shows me which things are updated, which is also really cool. So if Erica were to come back and update her snail assignment, it would show here, and then I could pull that updated content. Uh, so again, it's trying to save you some work in terms of what you're finding and what you're using with your students. On the other hand, if you want to share an assignment with the commons, if there's something you want to do and push it out there, you can do that from your assignment list or you can go from your calendar, whatever your workflow is. So I'm going to go and grab a discussion. Uh, this is the discussion I'm working on with my students. I grabbed two stories that were related to climate change. If you're in the, the assignment, you can change or you can come up here to the gear icon and click on share to comments. And that drops you into this kind of sharing mode. So who can use this resource, right? We can say it to any uh, Elkhart community schools if you want to keep it local in the district, or you can make it public to anyone in the comments. I'm a big fan of sharing back to the community, so I'm going to leave this one as public. Uh, the license, you need to use this help me choose option to choose whether or not there's copyrighted materials here that you want specific to you, which means they cannot change the assignment. The Creative Commons stuff, this is some good stuff too. So attribution means they link it back to you. Share alike means that they also have to link it with an attribution. And that help me choose will, will help you do that. So I'm going to just leave it for copyrighted right now. And I'm going to make it public. Metadata is how it's searched for. Uh, so here's a title. You would give it a description. Tags help people search by, by topic. You can add an image to it. So there's all these different settings. You can set your grade levels even. So um, it helps you choose an appropriate level for your students. So I'm going to leave mine as uh, 11th grade because that's my AP class. And here's where we can filter by category. Uh, Canvas includes state standards and Indiana are included here. So you can search for standards that are included included and then you would hit share and that would go out. Now, I'm actually not going to share mine right now because it's not quite refined enough, but that's what you would do if you wanted to share out to the comments. Think about things that are very general in nature, things that other teachers would find interesting if you're talking with them uh, at a conference or via email, if you have an old mentor teacher somewhere. What kinds of things can you add to that community? And, and the more input we have, the more valuable that community becomes. So consider sharing things as you're making them. I hope this video was helpful. If you have more questions, there's a link to our help form in the video description. You can put in a request there, especially if there's more you want to know about the comments or about Canvas, let us know and we'll get that video posted.